look, I don't know what my objective is with this video other than just to give you a friendly PSA announcement. Don't sleep on Agresco. It's a, a Netflix exclusive anime that you might just have looked at before and we're like, yeah, I mean, it just looks like animals in a simple 2D art style. It's not as detailed and acclaimed as like Arcane and whatnot everybody's been going on about. It's not this live action squid game. I still need to watch both of those. You know, they don't have as detailed body designs as that, nor does it have like the detailed pupils that normal anime watch. Like you might've just looked at the show and gone like this thing looks too simple to be a good anime. In fact, I don't think it even is anime. Guess what? Who cares? <laughs> <laughs> so Gresco season four is coming out, and that's kind of why I want to hit this is, you know, before Gresco season four comes out, should you catch up with the show? Uh, resounding yes. Because Gresco ultimately is a show about adulting. It is literally adulting the anime. There are some that has, you know, they incorporate that into the show and still make it fun, but Gresco manages to do it just enough not even just enough, the show is adulting. <laughs> and then some might think like, well, that's not entertaining. They they managed to do it in a way that kind of just anybody over the age of, you know, anybody that's like on their own and, you know, working out in the world and stuff, like you could relate to that. We're only, you know, under 20 and, and living in, with our parents and not having jobs or whatever. We're like, we're only that for a small portion of our life if you think about the majority of it. So then Agresco here comes around and isn't trying to bum you out, but just hits you with a lot of important shit, like relationships. When are you gonna get in one? Do you wanna get married? You want kids? Um, what should you look for in a partner? Are you worth, are you willing to settle down for certain things? And then there's, you know, the job. Like sometimes there's a job that really pays your bills well, enough, but your passion doesn't. Like, like, I'm not saying, you know, this is a Debbie Downer of a show, because in fact, it's just, it's relatable. It's just really freaking relatable. <laughs> the third season alone kind of, I watched that, was it last year? Uh, it was not last year, the year before, and it, it legitimately was kind of, it was kind of making me think about stuff. And Agresco's still entertaining enough like so entertaining in fact that I kind of get addicted when they release a whole season at once because I just, I want to play the next episode because they just make it so damn like relatable and engaging and I just want to see what's going to happen next because you got the main character Gresco and she works for this accounting firm or something like that and you know, has a shitty boss with really good depth to him. Like everybody in the show has good depth to the characters. Haida is my man. <laughs> Haida is my man, dude. He is awesome. He is somebody that's been crushing on Agresco for a long ass time and with unreciprocated feelings. And and you got a uh, uh, best girl Hanako, or whatever her name is, and and she's just freaking hilarious. There's there's so many memorable characters in this show with how they each behave, and then also the things deep down in them that you just think on the surface level this is just a stereotype of a character, and then you get to know them, and it's like. This show is really just disguising actual people behind them being a t 2D animal, <laughs> like. But then our main protagonist, Agresco, what's so special about her? Well, uh, not much really, because she's just an actual believable person. She gets selfish sometimes. She wants, you know, she dreams of being a married woman that doesn't have to work or whatever, and she questions what her passions are. She wants to find a good man, and, and she has, you know, people that take advantage of, of the fact that she has a hard time saying no to people. But where does she let her aggression out? She lets it out screaming at the top of her lungs, doing some heavy metal karaoke. And we all have that stuff. We all have our means to kind of vent or express or whatever on our own time or ways of doing it. And that's that's her fix. Like she doesn't smoke, she just does heavy metal karaoke. I, I think it's a lot more healthy personally. <laughs> this show is just not only entertaining, but just it, it it's real. It's really real. Even though it's disguised by these cute 2D characters, it's real. It, it's, it's life, it's adulting, but also entertaining because there are, you know, interesting things that happen in daily life that we think, you know, 
It doesn't have to be somebody getting teleported to another world. It doesn't have to be some will they, won't they romance, even though there is moments like that in the show. And it doesn't have to be, you know, some super over the top action sequence. Sometimes life is just interesting and you root for people in life. And honestly, if you're a supportive person that just wants to see people succeed in life, then the Gresco is probably going to give you your fixin'. I'm excited for season four, and I just I wanted to get this message out to tell you that Agresco is a very nice anime. That's on Netflix. It's only three seasons long. Every season isn't that long, so you should check it out and uh, let me know. And if this video gets more than like 30 likes, then I'm happy because that means that's 30 <laughs> people that either one appreciated what I'm talking about here or two um, probably is a watcher that feels the same way I do. So if you're one of those people that like this, thank you so much. And if you're still in the comments, thank you so much. And don't forget to be geek, be proud, be awesome. More anime stuff on the way soon.